Right now, we are in the middle of Tennessee's peak tornado season. And a News 4 I team investigation reveals why so many homes might be at a greater risk than others. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley reveals this potential double whammy. Medic 21 Midland Road in reference to tornado hit a house. Knowing the tornado that flipped his home, killing his wife Angie. That is was deemed an EF2 tornado, one of the weaker kinds, left Scott Walker with a nagging thought. I started questioning, well, yeah, what if something wasn't right about this house? A question that got the News 4 I team digging. And we found maps and data of homes in Middle Tennessee that prompted this kind of reaction from a structural engineer. I think the people in the homes have a false sense of security. Our investigation began with Walker's home. He's suing his builder, saying that home wasn't properly anchored to the foundation. But Walker's home was inspected and approved by local codes. With that in mind, take a look at what we've uncovered. The International Code Council that recommends standards for construction across the country relies on experts to determine what kinds of wind speeds our homes are at risk of experiencing. In 2018, they deemed Tennessee homes should be built to withstand winds of 110 miles per hour. But look at this. The state fire marshal has only adopted the ICC standards from nine years ago, requiring homes to withstand speeds of only 90 miles per hour. I think they're behind the times in verifying that a house has been designed for wind speeds. Are we behind then in what the experts are saying our home should be built to? They are in the process of reviewing those to see which one best fits our state. Our investigation also found this. 38 counties across Tennessee have opted out of requiring the state's minimum standards for codes, meaning no codes department or inspections are required to make sure homes can withstand wind speeds. Now look at this. Here's where the counties are that opted out in Western and Middle Tennessee. And this is a map from a 2018 study of tornadic activity in Tennessee from the past 38 years. Where the tornadoes are showing up in red and orange are right among our Western counties not requiring inspections. When you hear that they have opted out of these building codes, does that make you worry? I think it's absurd. If even a small scale tornado went through your county, how do we know that the houses would be able to withstand that? He, that's, that's a good question. Chris Jackson is a county commissioner in Lawrence County that opted out of the state's minimum codes. It came down to local control. Once you institute codes, there was a fear that they would be creeping. They never really get any more lenient. But if there are no codes and inspections, how does anyone know if homes are being built strong enough? That's a question that we're going to have to answer going forward because we have experienced population growth. After what he's been through, this is what Scott Walker thinks about building a home without codes or inspections. I think I'd be real nervous. Jeremy Findlay for the News 4 I team.